well, folks, I am out here jamming to thunder because, as you can tell, it's pretty rainy right now. There's lots of thunder, lots of thunder, and lots of lightning right now. Right now, there's tornadoes everywhere, and we are going catfishing. But right here, this guy, this beautiful little gem right here, this is the Cove Wireless Speaker. I actually partnered up with these guys for this video, and it'll get you 65% off. Click the link down below if you guys want to check this thing out. If you guys have seen my Instagram stories where I'm like jamming out, organizing, tackle, whatever, this little dude is what I am jamming out to. It is a wireless Bluetooth speaker, and it's for indoor, outdoor uses. It's got both functions. It's touch screen, it's wireless, it connects to the Bluetooth. This thing is super loud, great for parties, great for just bumping or just, you know, just chilling. And this thing will sit in the cup holder of your vehicle if you if you want to transport it or whatever. But anyways, this thing's pretty sick. They helped me out with this video. So huge thanks to those guys for making this video right here possible. If you guys want a speaker, I will link down below. 65% off, folks. Big, big deal here. You know, you got a present, you just want to jam out. This is this is the deal that you want. But right now, big tornadoes happening. Seriously, I'm not I'm not just I'm just clickbaiting it right now. There's a lot of tornado actions. There's some right over there, right over there, and right over there. There's been tornadoes everywhere. There's like 65, 75 mile an hour per, per hour wind. And now we're here waiting to see kind of what happens. We don't know if the tornadoes are going to come through here. But as soon as we kind of get like the, the, the clear, we're going to put a boat in this river right over here. This is the Missouri River. And we're going to go after giant catfish. You guys stay tuned. We are off, folks. Fingers crossed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we made it out here. As the sun is setting through the anchor for the first spot, we're going to set some lines out. What are we using for, for bait, guys? There. That's... That's what we're using for bait, giant goldfish. So we are using goldfish. Now we have done this before. John and I, we came back out here like, what was it, probably two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Came here from the bank doing this exact same thing. And well, this is how it went. Like, so most people don't do it this way. Most people just put one here, here. I put one right through its brain and one back here. You gotta make sure you don't hit the spine, right? You wanna go below the spine. Make sure you get any kind of scales off of there. And boom, that's it. All right, so you just send this as far as you can, huh? All right, full send, boys. Was that decent? So now you have to let the line out until it stops. Basically, it has to find a sandbar to kind of rest on. And then that's, the lure basically just finds its way. It's just kind of like a mag, just has a magical path of its own. You don't really control anything. Tip number one, you gotta have the kindling. Kindling is um, very flammable, small, like shrubbish stuff. That's, that's tip number one, we gotta have that. Oh, it's going. We got a fire. That's That looks like a fire to me. You know, we kinda cheated, used lighter fluid and a lighter, no flint and natural stuff, but that's okay. This fire is what is gonna cook us our dinner. We haven't eaten dinner yet. We gotta roast wieners on the fire. That's, that's next. We're right now, everything is set up. We're waiting for the bite. We're seeing lots of activity, waiting for the fish, but we gotta eat some food. Okay, so welcome back to Cooking with Flair. Tonight we're gonna be uh, cooking some wieners, hot dogs. And the first step in cooking hot dogs is finding the perfect stick. So. Right here, I got my three foot uh, medium light action stick that we're gonna be using tonight to cook with. So when I look for a stick, I look for a very stout bottom and then kind of a, you know, a nice a nice rod bend at the, at the tip of it right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a knife and whittle it down and then uh, use it to cook some wieners. So next step is uh, whittling this down and getting on the fire. We're just gonna whittle this down here Make it sharp enough so you can uh, put a wiener on it, and then we're going to use it to cook. It's uh, pretty sharp. Oh yeah, and we're going to stick a wiener just on like that and just get on the fire, so let's get to it. All right, so today we are working with the Nathan's Jumbo Restaurant Style Beef Franks. 
These are gonna be very key for tonight. It's gonna help Andrew catch a big fish. I'm just gonna eat it and he's gonna, it's gonna somehow work and he's gonna catch a big fish, I don't know. So, we're gonna open this up and uh, get to it. Okay, hot dog is done cooking. The last and final step is putting the dog in the bun. Now this part is like netting the fish. This is like, like the make it or break it stage. So, you wanna make sure you got it in there like that. Get a nice little grip on the hot dog bun and then just slowly pull out and then we're good to go. Now, some of you may think we're dumb, but no, no. You gotta come over here, gotta get the hinds, put a little bit, of, a little bit of ketchup on there like that. And then, power move, you get the yellow mustard. And then I like a little bit on there, just like so. Then it's ready to eat, let's taste it. That's good, it's perfect. We're ready to catch some 50 pound catfish now. 12 seconds later. Come on baby, take it. That's definitely a fish. Yeah. Pick it up in your hand. Get ready. Do I need to tighten the drag? Yeah, tighten the drag just a little bit. And if you feel him, if you feel him on there. Just swing. Then take him. Player, he might be on there now, cause you're. Are you tight? No. Just get it a little tight. Because we're so shallow, he might be on there. I think he's on there. He's on there. So I just swing? Yep. Nope. Is he gone? I don't think so. Nope. No, he's not. there's no way there's. <laughs> We're going after flatheads? Flatheads or blues. Flatheads or blues. That's, yeah, the, I'm put a that's the goal, folks. Flatheads or blues. Yeah, everything gets netted, too. Everything you know, is netted. I was netted. talking about my buddy last year that usually fishes with me. He had a 30-pounder on. He tried to flip it, and the boat wouldn't let me net it. He snapped his line. Who boat flips a 30-pound fish? A dummy. Who does that? It's not like something I'd do. Look at that. That is a skipjack yep. head, the head of a skipjack. So we've got some live goldfish, and we have some dead. So if I, if I remember correctly, the dead bait, like the skipjack is more for the blues, correct? Yeah. Ish? Yes. I mean, it can go either way. And then the live, flatheads prefer live, generally. I mean, it can go either way, but that's rule of thumb of catfishing 101, because I catfish a lot. We made another move here. We're tied up to just a little, I don't know, basically these like these wood pillars and whatnot. We're pulled up here, but it's kind of like a little break. There's like a little inlet, and we're hoping that the catfish are kind of back up there feeding us right off kind of the main the main current side. But obviously we picked up Jimmy, like the two pound goldfish. If that if that if that rod goes off, it's gonna be real interesting. For sure a fish. I mean that thing. I mean, that thing absolutely crushed it. Oh, this thing got crushed. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, it was like, I mean, it was like what you have to talk about. Like, you don't know. It just, it just ripped. Straight down. Eventually. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, day two, second round. I suck at catfishing. If any of you guys catch giant catfish, email this email right here. I'll put it right here. Email this, like if you want me to come with you, me and John will come and we'll film it. I need to catch a big catfish. Like I, I just, we tried two days and uh, pretty much staying up for 24 hours both days. This morning I got up at 4 a.m., went fishing, filmed the video, came back, then left, came to this location and then now it is I'll show you guys it is uh 3 22 a.m. so I got up at 4 which we're about an hour away from the house so by the time I get home and get in bed I will be up for more than 24 hours so it's been it's been a struggle to say the least folks I'm telling you if you guys 
catch giant catfish, no matter where you're at in the country, preferably in the Midwest, and you want me to come and hang out and catch a fish with you, film it, make a cool video, email this email, and we will go fishing. But anyways, it was a good time. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. I mean, I had fun, even though we didn't catch fish. That's what it's all about, guys. We'll be back next time on the next episode of Catfishing with Flair. Peace!